Welcome back, I am Captain Xavier, and I like all things modular, and this is the ultimate culmination of that philosophy. This is my Condor Molly plate carrier in all of its glorious absurdity. It was vaguely featured in Walcom's video of me, but most of the details were omitted or glossed over, so I'm going to go over them all now. It is primarily used for holding weapons and ammo, obviously. It has five double AK pouches, and as many of you probably know, a double AK pouch will perfectly fit two 18 round magazines, or any standard Nerf magazine. I use the 18 round clears because I have the UV light in ire that lights up the glow in the dark rounds, but it only works with clear magazines. The other thing that fits perfectly in a double AK pouch is a hammer shot. I have a seven round cylinder mod in mine. Uh, we'll hopefully someday go to the eight when I can get my hands on one. One of the pouches also carries all of Ayer's absolvers and various attachments. I also have some other gizmos that I keep in there. I usually hold six of the 18 rounds, but if I'm running one of my Absolver shotguns now, they fit perfectly in here as well, both the eight and the six, the nine fits. The 10 really doesn't, but I don't like the 10 anyway, so I don't care. Uh, there, it's actually a set of three and a set of two that are attached on there. One of the beauties of mo the Molly design is you can mix and match pouches as you see fit. Moving on up, I have a standard pistol holster, which quite wonderfully holds the double strike. Which I, I, just, I love, that's why I went with the double strike, because I thought it would fit into a holster. I found one at Walmart that did, that was also uh, compatible with Molly, so I put that on there. Um, not often that I get down to those two weapons, but I have been in a couple of HVZ final stands where I was down to my pistols and hurting for ammo, but that's why I carry all of this stuff. Uh, on the pouch, I assume this was actually supposed to be a magazine pouch, but I keep my flashlight in it. It's a beautiful spot to keep that. I also have one on ire, but in the event that uh, I don't have ire with me or I just want more light or somebody didn't bring a light, I have an extra light. Next pouch we have is the Condor Admin pouch. Uh, it functions basically like a tiny portable desk. It folds out and holds like that. Uh, I usually have things like my utility tool, uh, pens, a screwdriver for, you know, if I need to change out batteries. Uh, I have usually a notebook, uh, mission details, things like that. Uh, in the front zippered pouch, I usually have a map of whatever location I'm at. I think the one that's in here got wet during my last event and probably needs to be replaced. Yeah, it's a map of WSU that's gotten a little soggy. Very nice pouch. Molly's right on. It's got Molly on the front, has Molly on the side, Molly Velcro on the front, which is handy because I play a game where they use uh, flag football flags to demonstrate to. Uh, indicate your health and your armor and they velcro on here perfectly. I also currently have my gear meter patch that was given to me by some friends at WSU. Thank you guys for that. It just makes me so happy. Uh, these are actually, this is a pen, this is a pen and a highlighter that we used as props in an HVZ once and I just keep them there because I think they look neat. I also have all of Ayer's various barrel attachments that fit nicely into the Molly. The Mega Dart, the Whistler, and the Elite barrel all just attached to the admin pouch right there. Works very nicely. In Walcon's video he asked me where my suicide jolt was and I did not have one so he provided me with this lovely little phone case that happens to fit a jolt perfectly so I painted up a jolt to match my general scheme. And now I have my Suicide Jolt hooked directly to my Molly. It also fit in beautifully, which of course I love. Moving on to the side, I have a pair, I have a, yeah, double grenade pouches, which I keep uh, stress ball grenades in. Uh, some games they just act like socks and HVZ and you can just throw them at the zombies. Other games I've played, they actually count as grenades and do area of effect which is fun. Down here I have a tech pouch, which will both hold a cell phone I also usually keep my a pair of gloves in here. Another nice little condor pouch. Both of these are condor. Pretty much all the pouches on here are condor. I swear, I'm not endorsed by condor. 
Going further around, I have the second of the cup holders. Someone asked where my cup holders were, and this is where the other one is. It'll hold a full Powerade bottle, which is my favorite energy drink. Not sponsored by Powerade either. This pouch, I generally keep uh, my balaclavas, my uh, you know, face ski masks or whatever. Uh, sometimes I'll keep a poncho in there if the weather's bad, but I generally keep that in a separate pouch. You can also put a... Um, Camelback bladder in here is what I originally had in it. I had a little bit further back on to, on my gear. I moved it to the side uh, when I got a proper Camelback, which we'll get to in a minute. Uh, but it has the hole in the top for the tube to go through if that's what you want to use it for. Uh, don't have a pouch on the other side because that is where the machete on my battle belt goes. And if I have a pouch there, then I can't draw it. So that's why the utility pouch that used to be here is now on the battle belt. Oh, let's see, what else do we have? On the shoulders, I have uh, shoulder armor. I think they're actually from Baseball Catcher Armor, which I had never seen shoulder pads on those before, but I found it in Goodwill. Liked the look of them, ran with them. Uh, on this side, I added a strip of Velcro, riveted it on there for because I needed to be able to attach stuff. Right now, I have the Empire patch that was given to me by my friend John. Thank you, John. I am a always been an Imperial supporter, so I love having that patch. I do have other patches that can go there. Uh, as I have mentioned, we are in fact a private security company, which is why we have all of this tack gear, honestly. Or at least it's how we justify having all this tack gear. Uh, my friend is a distributor for Condor because of that, and that's why pretty much everything I have is Condor. The vest is Condor, most of the pouches are Condor. I'm not sponsored by Condor. But we have a security patch in case we we're actually doing security work. This was a patch from an HVZ where we played an NPC group called Shard, which was some shady government special forces unit. I don't remember what the acronym stood for, but I know that it was specifically designed so that it spelt Shard, much like Shield. Uh, I'm planning to make just a series of colored patches. Uh, red, blue, green, orange, and probably yellow, since those are the most, you know, all the standard nerf colors. Uh, so whatever team, if they are actually using armbands, I can just throw the appropriate patch on there because you're, that's right, I like all things modular. Uh, oh, last couple of things hanging off of here, I have my single point sling for all of my guns. Most of my guns now have a compatible hook for it. IR just locks in uh, my minimized stampede, uh, my... Um, Strifle with the underslung Magnus, it goes on here. My Alpha Trooper, all of my general guns have a sling that hook onto here. Iyer then has a jack that this plugs into, which is what controls the shoulder cannon, which we will get to next. On to the back of the vest. It's much more boring back here than it used to be. I used to have a whole bunch of things back here, but I discovered that that meant I couldn't sit in a car with my vest on. So I, and I didn't like that. I like to be able to get in and out of my car with my vest on so I can just hit the ground running. So I moved everything onto either the sides or the belt or uh, my combat pack, battle pack, which we will get to. So what I have back here now is the Camelback, just a standard Condor Camelback. I think it, it'll hold up to a three liters. Um, I think that's what I currently have in here. Very nice. Everybody should have one. Keep yourself hydrated. I also have my radio pouch, which currently has my radio in it. I don't currently have it wired for the throat mic. Uh, I had some problems with the wiring, so it got taken off, and I haven't got it put back on yet. But there's usually an activation button on this side, so that I can actually activate it just with my right elbow while I've got my gun in the firing position, which is very nice. And the throat mic lets me talk very quietly, and my squad can hear me. And then I've got an earpiece, so I can hear them, and the enemy can't hear me. Also have the shoulder mount, which is uh, some ABS, ABS plastic that was heated up to fit uh, a Nerf pit, a grip. Uh, and then the remains of a long shot uh, bipod that just, I thought it looked nice, so I added some more. Also it added a little more support. Uh, it's the, the base part is just uh, thick ABS plastic that's been heated up and shaped and then reinforced with metal. Uh, there is a magnet on the top, a hard drive magnet that several of the different guns actually hook on using the magnet rather than uh, going into the pistol grip socket. It needs a little bit more work. This is where the cable jacks into the gun, which allows me to then fire the shoulder rifle using the secondary trigger on IR. 
And I think that is it for the back. Of course, carrying handle, somebody needs to drag me out of somewhere, but good luck with that because I am a large, beefy fellow. But I do believe that covers the basics of my tactical vest. If you have any questions or any comments, do please feel free to leave them in the comments below, and thank you for watching.